All right, guys, how's it going? Um, first of all, you're gonna have to forgive me. I do have a little bit. Uh, I'm just kind of recovering from a cold, so <clears throat> if you hear me kind of sounding not good, that's because, yeah. Anyways, um, so I want to show you guys these two awesome, awesome models. Uh, this is actually a project of three, and I've already given one back to the client. And uh, these are the Charybdis Assault Claws from Forge World. Uh, these are actually very unique in that they are drop pods that are also flyers. So they carry, I believe, 20 guys. Um, now, this is all off the top of my head. I'm not 100% sure. But, um, but yeah, apparently they have some really cool rules. They can kind of fly over and uh, burn guys with their engines or something like that. So that was pretty sweet. Um, and they also have these like missile things that they can fire off um, in different directions. So yeah, so basically um, I wanted to take the time and show you guys uh, or kind of talk to you guys about how to build and properly and assemble these and paint these um, in an easy way. So sorry about that shaking camera. Alright, so let's kind of just talk about it real quick. So when you get these models, they're going to come in about... Uh, well, I think it was like 30 is what I calculated. So it's five of these pieces, five of these pieces, which go all the way up, um, one engine piece up top, five of these things, and then two of these. So two per fin. <clears throat> and then there's obviously one bottom piece down there that you can kind of see. So basically uh, what I thought was easiest to do was to assemble this body now, if you're not familiar with Forge World, uh, they're not going to make it easy on you. So, assembling this body is definitely a big pain if you're not used to something like this. Um, Forge World doesn't put uh, little grooves or anything that like make this very easy to slot into. Um, so, when you're doing it, you kind of want to have these things handy so that you can uh, slide them into these grooves. And if you notice, and actually, it's easier to see on this one. Sorry about this lighting, guys. It's kind of jacked up. But they actually slide up and down. Come on. There we go. So they slide up and down, and then they'll lock in on the bottom here. So um, and it allows them to either sit on the ground like normal or um, what have you. So, uh, yeah, so assemble this. Make sure this is good, good, good sealed. All right. Um, I actually used uh, epoxy to seal this together after I super glued it just to make sure that um, it didn't come apart because I think this is the main main problem here so once you got that done um, I left these claws separately left the fins separate and then I left this top engine separate and I painted all those, all those um, kinda t uh, individual and so basically if you look at this model uh, or these models they're painted let's see if I can do something about it's a little better um, they're painted in the style of Crimson Slaughter, because the guy that I'm doing them for wants to actually use them for his Chaos Space Marine Army. So, uh, they're, they're kind of just a really simple red and gold color scheme uh, with some black thrown in to kind of mix it up. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, so, it's very, very cool, very fun to do. Um, another pro tip you, I want to give you guys is these fins here. Um, these are only held in place, let's see if I can kind of see that a little bit better. So if you can see this right here, this line is actually the only place that they connect. Um, they don't actually connect up top like the, uh, the regular drop pod does. So what that means is you need to put a pin into this piece. <coughs> if you don't, uh, it will not hold on and I've actually had the first one that I did, a lot of this stuff was breaking off if you would try to move it and whatever. Um, and like a normal drop pod, if you try to pick it up from here, these things will just snap off. Um, so you got to be careful about that. So, yeah, um, I think that's the main thing that I want to talk about. Um, obviously, there's a lot of uh, pieces and stuff that I could talk about from Forge World. Um, but yeah, these models are a lot of fun. So there's the uh, the flying version, which looks pretty cool. I'm gonna give it a little spin here, so you guys can kind of see. Um, there's this like back hatch piece. Yeah, there we go. So you can see that I can actually do that brighter than the uh, the rest of it, so that it kind of looked like it was not getting all the scorch marks. But yeah. So um, again, on the uh, on the base there. 
I actually went in and I used epoxy to hold that in place um, because I didn't think super glue would be strong enough to hold it. And also epoxy kind of gives with the model so as it moves a little bit it doesn't just become brittle and break off. So alright well I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions about you know some of the things I did on these guys let me know and I will be more than happy to answer them. Alright thanks a lot guys. See you in the next one.